Oh, please don't eat me. Wait for the third Billy Goat. He's much bigger, much, much bigger. We absolutely love pre-K. Um, when we first came, you know, Robert was a little nervous and the, we didn't think he would stay the first day, but he did because the environment was just so welcoming and, and fun and um, he learned so much. And it was definitely very fun for him. He wasn't bored. He, was, he learned something every day. It was a really good place to start for education. Robert was in Miss in Brandy's class last year. He wasn't very good um, socializing with the kids, and he made so many friends. Um, he came home talking about his friends, and he came home talking about everything that he had learned. And he just he, he definitely grew, you know, being around all the kids, and, and of course, you know, his respect for the teachers and, and all that. Pre-K is a great place to get children ready for kindergarten. We work on social skills such as uh, being able to sit for an extended period of time listening to stories. They learn how to ask questions about stories and answer questions about stories. Uh, they learn uh, listening skills. They also learn in small groups whenever they're working with uh, sharing, cooperation, controlling their emotions. Um, we also do academics, um, which we focus on letters and numbers. Uh, we also work on the correct pencil grips, um, scissor skills. We just do a variety of things to get them better prepared for kindergarten. Well, our goal of pre-K, of course, is to get kids and get them into an exposure into an um, early academic setting. A big benefit of pre-K, of course, is the social aspect of it and learning through play. We try to emphasize all of our learning um, through play, so it's still very developmentally appropriate for the children, but they're still learning. Uh, he's always learning new things and making new friends. Of course, he learned a lot of academic stuff, but he learned so much more than that. Yes. The teachers are so much more like hands-on. You know, you can tell they love the students. Like, I mean, Robert came home talking about Miss Brandy every day, and still. we just—he <laughs> still, he still loves Miss Brandy. We have the socialization, and then the following the rules. You know, it's, it's always really important too. But I mean, he's just—he's—he's he's learned how to do it amongst all of his classmates too. The pre-K kids cannot ride buses, so we get a chance every day to interact with the parents or guardians twice a day. So um, they drop off at our classroom, they sign them in, they do some uh, table work while we're waiting for everyone to get here, then we have breakfast, all pre-K students have breakfast. Uh, afterwards we come back, we do a whole group, usually a story, we move around a little bit, then we go into small groups and there we can focus on specific skills. We can work on pencil grips or letter identification or um, using scissors. Um, after that we rotate through, we might go back to the carpet to do a little whole group thing again and then we go into centers. Centers. Um, are areas where the kids can go and play and learn while they're playing. So that's one big thing about pre-K, it's play-based. And then it's pickup time. And then once again, we get to meet with those parents and talk with them, tell them how their day went. And we'd come, we'd come to pick him up at the, you know, at the end of the day. And you know, he would run to us and tell us, you know, everything that he's learned. And and you know, we'd gather all his stuff, and then we'd start again the next day. I think it's a very uh, smart choice to send him to pre-K. Extra learning and stuff is never a bad thing. You know, it definitely gets them ready.